What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing absolutely amazing. This is kind of different from the videos that I usually record, just kind of trying to do some new things, but I'm not gonna waste too much time on the intro. Basically, I just kind of wanted to go over an automated flow that's been working super well for us for a while, and then has also been working super well for our clients. It's pretty simple, mainly focuses on Instagram. We can go into funnels and everything like that in a, uh, another video, but it's super low hanging fruit in terms of whether you're just trying to you know, grow your Instagram page, whether you're trying to sell more people on your info products, or you're just trying to drive more leads for your agency, whatever the case might be, um, there is application here for you, right? So there's kind of three different tools that we're going to be needing for this flow. I've talked about it in videos before, but I've never actually like gone into depth about what the flow looks like. By the way, you guys can get this board by uh, clicking the link in the description or the first pin comment, one of the two. Um, but I've never actually really gone into depth with this. So there's three tools that you're gonna need mainly. Uh, first is ManyChat, that is a non-negotiable, that is for Instagram and Facebook primarily. Um, Airtable is what I'm currently using for our CRM, and I'll kind of get into why I'm doing that in just a moment. Uh, and then finally, just make.com to facilitate those automations if, if need be, right? So you can actually drive a lot of growth for your Instagram account and a lot of leads just by using ManyChat, but a lot of people either A, don't really know how to use it properly, or B, don't know how to use it to its, its maximum potential. So what we're gonna be focusing on today is what's called an auto DM flow. So essentially, it's where, you know, let's just say you're a fitness coach, for example, you have a lead magnet, it's like the, the looks maxers guide to six pack abs by the summer, right? You wanna give away this lead magnet to your followers. So you create a video, uh, you know, saying like, these are the three tips for, you know, getting six pack abs by the summer, this is your three step plan. At the end of the video, you have a call to action with something along the lines of like comment abs down below. If you want me to send this guide to you, I'll send it right over. People comment abs, many chat activates, it'll send them an automated DM. A lot of people just send them the guide in the, in the DM and then call it a day. Or a lot of people didn't even have this set up at all. And I'm gonna talk about why it's so uh, crucial as well. But essentially there's two different types of asks we can do here, right? First is with stories. So this is an example from my own story. Basically I made a video about an Airtable guide just kind of going over everything there. And I said reply with Airtable for the free guide. What you'll notice with these story ones as well is that you can also pin them to your highlights. So they kind of act as evergreen lead magnets. Whenever somebody's visiting your profile, they can click on your, you know, your free game uh, highlight, whatever the case might be. And they can see all of these lead magnets and they can interact with them. So you're kind of constantly bringing in leads. You don't always have to be producing new sales assets if you don't want to be. The second is with reels. So at the end of the video, you have a call to action to for them to comment a specific keyword. And as soon as they do, it sends them an automated DM, right? Now, what's the next step after here? As soon as they comment, they're going to be added to your mini chat contacts, and then you can tag them with the lead magnet that it's associated with as well. So if someone interacts with that six pack abs lead magnet, I'm gonna add a custom tag that's basically like six pack abs, you know, 520, the date or something like that. So I know which lead magnets they're interacting with. I know what, how active they are um, with my sales assets, that type of thing. Now this kind of gets into the, the CRM side of things. I will make a video about this maybe further down the line, but we actually custom built our CRM inside of Airtable for a couple different reasons. First and foremost, we can track who books calls. So at the end of our sales flow, uh, when we're setting appointments inside of the DMs, we actually have an automation set up that automatically checks if that person booked a call, and if not, it follows up with them. So we can see who's interacted with our lead magnets and ended up booking a call or didn't end up booking a call for whatever reason, right? And then we have lead magnet interactions, basically, Anytime somebody interacts with a story or with a video that has a lead magnet attached to it, a new contact is created inside of our CRM. It tracks the entirety of the conversation history. It tracks the sales stage that they're in. Basically, I have a very high level overview of where people are dropping off, how many of these people are qualified, how many of these qualified people are actually booking calls, right? And then finally, we have follow-up reminders. So with this, we just use Airtable formulas to track the last touch point and then the sales stage that they're in as well. And then basically every single morning, we'll get Slack messages that say, hey, this person needs to be followed up with, here's their information, right? Now, after they interact with all of your, you know, they comment, they reply to the story, whatever the case might be, they're added as a contact, the interaction is logged inside of the CRM. Now you're inside of the DMs, right? The next step here is email collection. So you have two options. Either A, you can send them directly to a lead magnet opt-in page, or B, you can collect their DM inside of the, uh, or you can collect their email inside of the DMs and then add it to your newsletter via 
either one of many chats integrations, or you can just make a post API call to whatever software you're using, like ConvertKit or something like that. Option A is best if you want to direct people to a, a webinar or something that requires some kind of two-step funnel where it's like a, a free training type of thing. So that's always best to send them off to that opt-in page. But otherwise, I usually just collect their information inside of the DM and then add it to the newsletter. And there's a specific reason for this. This brings me into these sell opportunities. So as soon as they give you that DM, you can automatically add them to an email soap opera sequence. And basically what this is, is it's a five to seven email sequence that are designed to upsell them at the end of that sequence. So, you know, you're breaking down your story. You can look at ClickFunnels. He breaks it down in, uh, in the book. But um, basically, as soon as they sign up, first email, you're going to give them access to the lead magnet. And we'll kind of talk about a bonus upsell in just a moment. Second email, you're kind of getting into the story. Subsequent emails, you're selling them on the business model or whatever you're trying to teach them or whatever service you're offering. And then finally, the last few emails, you're making that ask, right? You know, with like scarcity, trying to get them to buy. So inside of that first email, you can not only give them access to the lead magnet, but you can also uh, funnel them into a free community. I'm not a growth operator. I, this is like super overplayed, but there is a specific reason for this. Um, inside of that first email, you can actually funnel them into a free community as well. Why do this? School, for example, has uh, an automation setup that you can really just enable pretty much straight off the bat that as soon as somebody joins that free community, not only are you giving more value to people and also you know, familiarizing them with your products and just building trust there so they might buy from you later on, but as soon as they, build, or as soon as they get into that community, can send them an automated message along the lines of like, hey, super excited to have you here. Thanks for joining the community. Just out of curiosity, you know, what are your goals with fitness in the next few months? That type of thing, right? <clears throat> so then we can have a setter or we can hop in there ourselves and upsell inside of that conversation. So here we're selling them in two places. Then you have Instagram DM follow-ups. There are two options here. Either A, you can go through ManyChat yourself, filter by that specific tag that's associated with the lead magnet and then follow up with those people manually. Or B, excuse me, we actually built a um, an AI setter. Now this isn't, really applicable unless you have a significant amount of inbound lead flow. But our AI setter pretty much takes people throughout the entire se uh, sales sequence, follows up with them accordingly, updates inside of Airtable, everything like that. If you guys want to see a demo of that video, let me go ahead, like just let me know down below. You can also find it on my Twitter account there. So finally, the final sales opportunity is inside the lead magnet itself. You can throw a call to action at the end of the lead magnet to you know book a call or to upsell them to you know, your lower ticket paid product, whatever the case might be. Now, as nice and cool as this funnel is, it's not the only reason I usually recommend many chat to people. First reason is it's going to incentivize engagement. Obviously, when people are, you know, getting something for free and it's something that's actually valuable, they're going to be incentivized to engage with the content. The Instagram algorithm is going to see that more people are engaging with the content than usual, and it's going to push it out to more people. This does not guarantee that it's going to go viral. You're not going to get viral bangers every single time, but it's kind of like a little booster shot for your content. You're kind of spreading that reach a little bit. Second, it's going to reduce friction for the customer. This makes it significantly easier to acquire cold customers. Most people won't actually interact with your sales assets unless they're already familiar with your presence um, themselves, or they've already seen some of your videos, or they're already following you, that type of stuff. This makes it a lot easier to introduce cold customers to your sales pipeline, because all they have to do is comment a keyword. They don't even have to stop scrolling on Reels. They don't have to click on your profile, then go to your link tree, and then click on this website, and then opt into this. It's just they comment a keyword, and boom, they're inside of your sales pipeline, right? So it's also kind of you know helpful for you. And then third and finally, there's more opportunities to sell. Obviously, that's obvious. We just covered it. Most people, when they come in, they're either going in through you know some other like they're coming in through uh, what's what's opt-in or something like that. They're either coming in through an opt-in or they're coming in maybe through a referral. They're always coming in through one spot and then only only getting hit on one spot as well. Whereas this kind of attacking them on all fronts, making sure they're on our email list, making sure they're in the free community, uh, making sure they're being followed up with in the DMs and they have the lead magnet as well. So that was a spiel that made no sense, but um, I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this type of video. Just kind of curious. Again, if you want the lead magnet, or it is technically a lead magnet. <laughs> if you want the video, you can go ahead. Oh my gosh, it's, it's too early. Okay, if you want the Miro board, you can click the link in the description or in the first pinned comment. You'll be sent to an opt-in page. Um, 
yeah, that's kind of how this thing works. So if you guys want this, this mural board, just let me know. Um, I might throw it down there. Otherwise, yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see next. Let me know if this was helpful, if this was useful. If you want to work with us personally, one-on-one, -on -one, you can also book a call with us down below <clears throat> if you're looking for more tailored solutions for your particular business. But this is just something that you know has been super helpful for us and for clients as well. So take care.